boxing? The mean son of a bitch. Oh, yeah, you'll see this bad mother. You don't look like much. He's, be he's, he's better than Matty Pacquiao. Matty Pacquiao was doing like that. Just as good. He looks like a fing pop star. Oh, wait till he get on these mother. The most efficient hunting Ooh, machine in all of boxing. He's vicious. The monster. Oof. That's a badass guy he beat, too. Broke him down. Ooh. 118? Yeah, 118. Who the hell pounds. fights in that, that fing division? Bantam weights. Yeah, but who? Some bad mother. Yeah, some killers. Ooh, break him. Ooh, the monster. He beat him so easy. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? You know, it amazes me every time I hear Mike Tyson talk because if you never knew who Mike Tyson was, right, and he was just talking boxing with you, you would think he's never even been in a boxing gym before, let alone been in the ring. Mike Tyson is on his podcast show. He's watching an Oya Inoue fight with his co-host, his special co-host, and his co-host is more of a casual fan than Mike Tyson is. The co-host says, who the hell fights at 118? So even Mike Tyson's casual co-host is basically saying to Mike Tyson, you're doing all this praising, but who has this guy fought? I mean, who can he fight at 118? Who's there? Who's there to really challenge him? That's crazy to me because you would expect Mike Tyson to be the person to say that. You would have thought that exchange would have been the other way around, where the casual fan was saying, oh man, this guy's a monster. I don't really know anything about him. But just watching this footage, he looks like a mean SOB. But it was Mike Tyson that was talking like the biggest casual, not his casual boxing fan co-host. So once again, this guy asked Mike Tyson, but who fights at 118? And Mike Tyson says, killers. No, first he says, Bantamweights. Bantamweights fights at 118, and then he says, killers. Then he starts talking about how NOA is this mean SOB, and he's this and he's that. I mean, you would have thought he was describing Javante Tang Davis the way he was talking about Noya Inoue. Then he says that Noya Inoue is better than Manny Pacquiao. But then he catches himself and he realizes he's putting a little bit too much on the praise. And then he says, well, he's just as good as Manny Pacquiao. But to even come close to comparing Noya Inoue to Manny Pacquiao, first we would have to see how he even looks against Stephen Fulton. Because when it comes to Manny Pacquiao, Manny Pacquiao, he did beat all different type of styles in the ring. He beat a Shane Mosley. He beat a Miguel Cotto, Oscar De La Hoya, Tim Bradley, Keith Thurman, Adrian Broner. And so far, Inouye's best opponent on his resume is against a 40-year-old Nonito Donaire. But let Mike Tyson tell it. In a way, he's been fighting nothing but killers at 118. Well, one thing is for certain, though. In a way, is going to be fighting against a killer next Tuesday when he fights against the super bantamweight champion, the unified champion, Stephen Fulton. This will be the first time that In a way will be fighting against a real killer. Obviously, we're metaphorically speaking when we use the term killer because killer just really means someone who is a serious threat, a fighter who will put up way more resistance than Naoya In a way has ever dealt with in his career. But there's no doubt about it. If Naoya Inoue can get past Stephen Fulton, then he is truly the monster and obviously deserves to be on the pound for pound list, somewhere in the top five, perhaps. Same thing goes for Stephen Fulton if he beats the monster, aka the monster, Naoya Inoue. I mean, you guys heard everything that Mike Tyson said about Inoue, so that just gives you an idea of how much Fulton will be praised if he were to beat Inoue next Tuesday. Now, even though, of course, Mike Tyson, he only praises non-black fighters like that because he feels that's what's accepted in America. Nevertheless, it was an example of what old media says about Inoue and the black people that cater to old media and the rest of the race fans say. Which is once again why if Stephen Fulton were to beat Naoya Inoue, that makes the win that much bigger. This is a highly anticipated fight because old media, they have said that Naoya Inoue is pretty much the Michael Jordan of the sport. He's better than Terrence Crawford, better than Errol Spence, 
if you listen to what some of them have said when it comes to their personal pound for pound list. But next week, we will find out how good Nooya in a way really is. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, the fever blisters, diabetic ulcers, this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Dekey Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling and inflammation and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to LODekey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram. NWA Connie Corsos proudly presents the Southern Classic Litter. The breeding between Scandifio's Rambo and NWA's Nyla is confirmed, and pups will be here within 30 days. Get ahead of the pack by getting your application in at nwaconeycorsos.com. Our pups come with a 24-month health guarantee. Contact us on any platform at NWA Connie Corsos. We stand behind our dogs. Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs and defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com. My name is Chris, and I'm all the way here from Anchorage, Alaska at Scout Carolinas, and I'm here for my second treatment of SMP. Well, I was sitting at home one day and uh, going over my Facebook page, and they have different, you know, like advertisements popping up, and I saw one for SMP, and I saw some pictures of some guys, you know, a before and after, and I was looking at that, and, they, you know, it caught my attention, so I Googled it. SMP, nothing showed up in my area. So, uh, you know, I did a little more research and all of a sudden, Scout Carolinas popped up in the web browser. So I started uh, watching his videos and uh, seeing all the reaction from all the other people. We talked on the phone, we made appointments and everything. I sent him pictures and uh, uh, he looked at them and I was like, can you fix this? And, uh, you know, he pretty much said, no problem. My first session, uh, he made me feel extremely comfortable. Uh, it was almost like I was talking to family. He started and uh, during the whole, whole treatment, we talked and, you know, about our families and our life and, you know, and things that he does and things that I do. And before I know it, the first session was over. When you see someone doing something that they love, uh, as much as I see Enoch Glover love what he does, uh, it shows in his work. I wouldn't point anyone in any other direction but here to North Carolina, Scout Carolinas, to get this done.